Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. Today I want to talk to you about insurance. Oh my goodness, health insurance. So this is a Blue Cross Blue Shield and we have health insurance through the state plan which is for um, state employees which is what Mr. Bucky was. Um, set or is and uh, so ours is a state health plan premiums for funded retirees and it says it will not increase in 2015 right there now what it does say is standard plan copay deductibles will increase look at that yeah I was looking at some of this, boy, it's unreal, it is, and uh, I mean, this is Obamacare, okay, and we're on uh, Medicare, and this one is our supplement, so uh, Mr. Bucky, I don't keep up with that, but Mr. Bucky says we're paying right at uh, 500 a month uh, to do with uh, Medicare and this supplement, and but he, he thinks other people pay a lot more than that uh, because you do get a break when you're a state employee. So anyway, I just can't even imagine what other people are paying. It's just unbelievable. Um, some of them are um, $10,400 for family coverage. Boy, it's just unbelievable. I did talk to a, a lady at the vet the other day and she said you know they were going to pay the penalty she said there is just no way we can afford that so I don't know it's it's really bad it's really really bad for a lot of people so anyway y'all leave me your comments and tell me what you think of all that um, I don't usually get real involved with anything political too much but this is unreal. It really is. All right, so we're ready to have our smoothie and get on something more positive. All right, this morning we're having the kale. I've got four cubes of kale in there, and I've got five cubes of the Valencia orange juice. I'm using the last of my coconut pulp, two little cubes of dates for sweetening, and then four cubes of oatmeal uh, cream of wheat that I cooked and froze and this morning because I fixed sweet potatoes yesterday and this time I got the smaller sweet potatoes because the big ones once you freeze them they're a nightmare to thaw out so this time I got the smaller ones that one had a little bug hole in one side of it but I cut that out and peeled them and so they're still a little bit frozen so this morning we're trying sweet potatoes with blueberries. Now when you do sweet potato, grape, and peanut butter, it tastes exactly like chocolate. It does. So I'm anxious to see if you add the blueberries if it's still going to taste like chocolate. Probably not. But anyway, so yeah, yesterday I got the um, Roman Shades. I got the material cut out for all four of the Roman shades and uh, so today I'll be working on that. Got the seams pressed for the seam allowance so I'll know where to sew and uh, so we're going to be working on that today. Alright, so let's see if we can get all this in here. Now it's still partially frozen but what has worked pretty well is to add the super hot water to the mixture and then just run the bottom mix. Now I think that my blueberries are already completely thawed out pretty much. So, well, not exactly. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I believe it was Jill that asked me uh, in a comment if the grapes came out mushy after you froze them. Well, the grapes are real similar to the blueberries when you freeze them. And they don't really come out mushy. They are softer than, than, than when they're fresh, but if you're putting them in a smoothie, it doesn't make any difference, you know? But I've actually used the grapes in a salad before, you know, thawed out, and they, they did fine. All right, so this sweet potato is still a little bit frozen, so I'm just gonna cut that up. 
Yeah, I've started giving uh, little bits of sweet potato to the dogs as little treats. And uh, that works out real well. They love the sweet potatoes. All right, so I'm down to the bottom on the uh, peanut butter. So I'm going to use my spatula to see if I can get all that out. I mean, we've got more peanut butter. We don't ever run out of peanut butter. Mr. Bucky makes sure of that. He is a peanut butter man. He really is. And when he makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he has so much peanut butter on it when he takes a bite, it just bite it, just squishes out the sides. Yeah, he loves his peanut butter. All right, got it pretty clean with the spatula. Yeah, we don't ever run out of peanut butter that I remember ever. All right, so that's got it. But all right, so now I'm going to add hot water. And I did heat this water up a little in the microwave, so it'd be sure and be pretty hot. And then we're going to see if that doesn't help thaw some of this out. Yeah, it's still good and hot. Just add one cup. I'm real anxious to see what this is going to taste like with the sweet potato and blueberry. I don't, I'm not sure if I've ever done that combination before. And by the way, I looked at my bananas. Again, I've, I've actually got three full gallon bags in the freezer. Those bananas I used the um, fruit fresh on and froze them outside the peeling. I am never, ever doing that again because they turn, get brown on them, the oxidation on them, which if you freeze them in the peeling, I, for me, that's never happened. It, they come out without any oxidation on them. All right, so here we go. This got a little more thawed out, but I'm going to also add another half cup of, that's really just warm water, and mix it up, and we're going to give it a taste. All right, here we go. this morning. Um, I definitely wanted to add the sweet potatoes and the blueberries together to see if that made it taste like chocolate and it does not. It does not taste like chocolate. It tastes like blueberries and a little bit of uh, peanut butter the taste comes through. Just a little bit. Of course you can't taste the sweet potatoes and you really can't taste the kale at all. I mean, zip, nothing. All right, did pretty good this morning. All right, now, big taste of it. There's what it looks like. Tastes like blueberries. It is so good. I don't know how many of y'all are doing smoothies. But if you're not, you really need to because, first of all, you get a lot, lot of energy. You get your greens, and really, this is your whole day servings uh, of fruits and vegetables. It really is. So, I mean, if you eat more fruits and vegetables during the day, you're going to be even better off. Yeah, this is delicious. Mm. 
Now, those blueberries, that was about a cup of blueberries that uh, I froze. And these were blueberries I got at the farmer's market. And of course, they're obviously much, much cheaper there. And these blueberries came from New Jersey. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking we need to go to Costco or Sam's Club. The problem is Costco is that way. Sam's Club is that way, about the same distance. And by the time we go there, unless we're going to that area for some other reason, we have spent so much money on gas, I don't see how we're saving anything, you know? But uh, anyway, we might just have to do that anyway, you know? But anyway, I've still got, um, I've still got two gallons, two gallon bags of blueberries in the freezer. And I've decided I'm going to do the uh, strawberries from Walmart, the frozen bag that's four pounds, because that's uh, almost as good a deal as getting them at the farmer's market. But this time of year, it's hard to get them at the farmer's market. So, all right, so I'm gonna work on my Roman shades again. Got everything cut out, and today is the day I start sewing the side seams and uh, measuring out for the little um, strips that I put in it, the little dowels to make it make a good fold when I pull them up. So anyway, we will see y'all later.